everyone. Uh, you might have seen me around Slack, Stack Overflow, Twitter as Logs. I also go by my human name, uh, Ricardo, and I'm part of the recently announced uh, learning team, which is what I'm going to be talking about <coughs> Sorry, today. So the learning team mission is to improve the Ember.js experience. And what does this rather vague a sentence mean. It means that we want to improve both the life of uh, Ember users, so guides, documentation, etc., as well as anyone that wants to contribute. And I'll explain how we're trying to do that. Okay, but first, uh, let's take uh, a look back at the last year. The last year was an interesting year. Uh, we started um, improving the guides, and then a documentation team was informally formed, uh, which then turned into the learning team. We did a lot in the guides. Um, we did the Ember CLI rewrites, I think, in 1.13. Uh, so it uses ESX modules and all of that. We did um, a small rewrite when closure actions landed. So all of the guides use closure actions, which are the way forward and the recommended way. And that's one of the goals of the guides is to impart what are the um, uh, optimal ways of building an Ember app, or what we call the happy path. Uh, there was also uh, an Ember data a rewrite of that section of the guides when the 1.13 stable Ember data got released. We did a, a redesign that was um, started a long ago by uh, some friends at Spotbot. We also started adding a tutorial, which isn't, isn't finished, but I'll get there. And we also added a, a quick start. I would like to, to give out a special thanks to uh, uh, Trek, who was the um, driving force of all of the documentation and the guides. Uh, Michael, who was w w one of the first members along myself and Trek of the, the documentation team, but uh, right now he isn't part of it. Um, and to Brandon for his work on the Ember data rewrite for the stable 1.13 release. Round of applause, please. <laughs> okay, so you've probably seen uh, this blog post by Matthew or uh, McSonic, uh, depends on how you know him, about being the bark. And in this analogy, essentially, Ember is growing as a community. It has to cover more use cases. Uh, there's a lot of diversity uh, in the people using it. And what's important right now is the projects surrounding Ember. Because we have a pretty stable core with a lot of functionality. Um, the core team is continuing to improve the API so you, you can uh, release new features like Ember engines um, and Fastboot has add-ons, which is kind of impressive. And th that also ties in into the learning team philosophy. So we have a couple of projects uh, in the works. W uh, we started translating the guides. Uh, we have a new welcome page for Ember CLI uh, applications. We were working on finally uh, solving the SEO problem for the guides. We, uh, we are very, very aware of the problem uh, of Google ranking, and we're still trying to solve it because it's not an easy uh, topic. We're also working on a living style guide. This is for the Ember resources themselves, like the Ember website, the guides, uh, and par uh, like uh, projects in the family, like Ember CLI, Ember Twiddle, and also eventually for Ember uh, add-on developers so they can have uh, a template for documentation pages and et cetera. Uh, 
we also started working on uh, dog fooding Amber, uh, which means that we're writing a guides and an API viewer in Amber itself. Uh, we're like halfway, maybe. Uh, we'll need help with that as well. Uh, I'm mostly focus focusing on the guides viewer and Stanley is focusing on the API viewer. Uh, we're also going to improve the builds page on the website to feature um, features uh, status bar. So people will have an easier way to figure out which features are coming down the pipeline and what they can expect. Uh, and then there's al also a lot of community related projects. So quickly about translations. Uh, for the first version, we decided that the core languages are going to be English, since that's the source language, Portuguese, because I'm Portuguese, so I can help uh, proofread and translate, and then Japanese, because uh, there was a, a big Japanese group that came to us asking to, uh, to help out with that. And then for the second version, we already have French and Spanish, uh, translators, and you can suggest your language if you are interested. Okay, this is a screenshot of the new uh, Amber welcome page. Uh, you can find more about this later. This is also um, a project that um, I'm trying to organize. It's Amber Hearth. Uh, it's basically an Amber CLI GUI, so it m makes it easier for new developers to use Ember apps and to generate and maintain and et cetera. And so the community aspects, we're trying to bring more focus into um, a satellite project like Ember Observer, Ember Twiddle. Um, we're working on a way to survey the text editor plugins and improve the situation, try to help out the maintainers of the project so everyone can have a nice editing experience. And then uh, also try to cu curate and make it more discoverable, uh, the, the community content. So meetup videos, blog posts, books, screencasts, all that sort of thing. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you, and uh, we hope to hear from you.